All right, this is the start of the 2020 AMC 10B from problem number one. I just wanted to quickly apologize for sound issues in the background. I am working on it. I've got some new equipment on the way soon. I should be able to resolve it within the next, I don't know, 10 videos or so. But for now, just thanks for bearing with me. Okay, what is the value of 1 minus negative 2, you know, whatever, this is just just start calculating. 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 minus 5 plus 6. Take your two negatives, make it 8. 10 and 13 minus 8 is 5. Answer choice D. Continuing on to the 2020 10B problem number 2. Carl has 5 cubes, each having side length 1. And Kate has 5 cubes, each having side length 2. What is the total volume of these three, these 10 cubes? Well, it's basically five times Carl's volume, which is literally one cube. That's why it's called cube, because it's the volume of a cube, plus five times two cubed. Um, you can factor out the five and get one plus eight. Nine times five is 45. On to the 2020 10B problem three, which was also the 12B problem three. The ratio of W to X is 4 to 3. The ratio of Y to Z is 3 to 2. And the ratio of Z to X is 1 to 6. What is the ratio of W to Y? This is a tactic I picked up from Volume 1 of AOPS. If you have access to it, it's pretty great. Okay, so uh, all we're going to do is think about W to X. I want W to Y, which means I want W in the numerator. Let's put W here and X here in the denominator. Now, I want the X to go away, so let's put it in the numerator, and I've got another ratio here of X and Z. I can put Z here like this, because I know Z to X or X to Z is an option, either one, I just reverse the direction. And then I can put um, Y to Z, um, I can make it Z to Y. Now, if I cancel everything out, what's left is W to Y, which is exactly what we seek. So let's just fill these in with what they are. W to X is 4 over 3 times X over Z. Now, Z to X is 1 to 6. We just reverse it and get 6 over 1 times uh, Z over Y. If Y to Z is 3 to 2, then Z to Y is 2 to 3. One of these 3's cancels a 6. 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 over 3. That's answer choice E, and we're on to the next one. Okay, and here we are at the 2020 10B problem 4, also the 12B problem 4. The acute angles of a right triangle are A degrees and B degrees. Pause right there. You should know that the acute angles of a right triangle add up to 90. Write that down and continue. A is greater than B. And both A and B are prime numbers. What is the least possible value of B? Because we want least possible value, we should probably use the solutions to help us out. We start with B could equal 2. No, because then A would be even and not prime. Could B be 3? No, then A would be 87. Always check for divisibility by 3 by adding the digits. You know this is divisible by 3 because 8 plus 7, 15 is divisible by 3. So it's not B. Try 5, doesn't matter. A is going to be a multiple of 5. It'll be 85, doesn't work. Try 7. 7 and 83. Good idea to know your, your prime's less than 100. 83 is prime, so 7 is the answer. Okay, and on to the 2020 10B, problem 5, the last problem of this set. How many distinguishable arrangements are there of one brown tile? Start keeping track. One brown, one purple, two green, and three yellow. Uh, tiles in a row from left to right. So basically how many arrangements of these can we make that are distinguishable? That means can be told apart. Um, tiles of the same color are indistinguishable. So I don't need a little one, two, and three here. All the yellows look alike, so they're interchangeable. And if you've done the intro to counting and probability from AOPS, this problem is pretty trivial. Um, basically it's like how many words can you make with these letters that are distinguishable? Another example uh, that we'll do first is, let's say I've got Mississippi. This is a very common example to show this tactic. There's 11 letters in Mississippi. You'll first write 11 factorial for all the ways to arrange them. 
then you'll divide by the number of S's as a factorial, four factorial, because that's the number of arrangements of the S's. I can't go into great detail now. Uh, you can learn it from AOPS or maybe a different solution, or maybe I'll do a different video in the future going into more detail about why this works. But for now, just understand the tactic. There's one, two, three, four I's that will also be four factorial, and two P's will be two factorial. Basically, all duplicate letters become a factorial in the denominator. Okay, then let's advance back to our problem. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles or letters, which is seven factorial. Two of them are green, that's two factorial. Three are yellow, that's three factorial. Get to calculating. Um, this is seven times six times five times four times three times two. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, whatever, times three factorial over two. The three factorials um, can cancel, and then the two can go into, I don't care, the six, let's say, and make a three. You'll get 21 times 20, which happens to be a seemingly favorite number of test makers, because I've seen it on about six tests, 420. 